Hello, everybody. Admiral Black here, joined by my buddy Rumpelstiltskin. Rumpelstiltskin in the flesh. Just, Just kidding. kidding. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want him to show up. Uh, no, we don't. <laughs> basically, it's me, John Princeton. And we're going to be talking about uh, Pokemon Sun and Moon. It's uh, been a little while since I did one of these Pokemon Sun and Moon videos. A lot of new information has come out. And we kind of just want to share our thoughts on the subject. So here's the trailer. Starts out with Pikachu, of course. Uh, powerful legendary Pokemon. That's <clears> good. <throat> okay. So the first one, of course, is Salgado. Salgalio. Salgalio, I believe. Sol, fun fact. S-O-L. Sol means sun in Spanish. Uh, Galeo, like, I guess Galileo, I guess. Yeah. Um, well, well, he was the guy who <coughs> discovered the... Well, here's the thing, though. Uh, it can also, the G-A can also be for cat in Spanish. Gato means cat. Oh. And Leo is lion. Yeah. So, uh, Ga means, like, Gato. That could be, like, Sol Ga Leo. Mm -hmm. Galileo, right? So, Galileo. Mm -hmm. But the S-O-L, uh, S-O-L, yeah, could be for sun in Spanish. The mm -hmm. G-A could be for cat and then the leo at the end like you know like lion like <clears throat> so I, I thought that was and of course his design he's a lion so that's very wait hold on let's talk about him though so how you feel about him not being a fire type because that kind of threw me for a loop <clears throat> i mean if you look at him he looks like a fire type yeah he definitely looks like a fire type uh, he's a psychic and steel mm -hmm. which um First of all, it's a very odd combination because steel types are known to have a lot of defense, and psychic types have been known to have very poor defense. Mm -hmm. uh, well, that just means that I think his defense and special attack are going to be through the roof. Yeah, <coughs> which which would be a weird combination to have like yeah, physical defense but special attack. You know? Well, the problem is is that with um, I have so many problems with this type. First of all, <coughs> I like that he's steel type. I think he should have been steel and fire. I understand why he wasn't steel and fire because Heatran's not that super, well. Heatran's cool, but Heatran's cool, but he's not. He wasn't a legendary. He's more like a like myst mythical kind of thing. And, and then you have psychic, and he just does not scream psychic at all. Mm -hmm. I think he should have been a um. I don't, I don't know, but he has an attack. Well, first of all, he has an ability called Full Metal Body, which apparently it's uh, people are claiming it works like Clear Body. And even in the thing right here, it says... Um, but how can it work like clear body, though? Well, here, Salamence used Intimidate, and it says Salgetto's full body, and negates the... And negated the... See? So it works like clear... Or, or white smoke. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. You know how, um... What's his name? Torkoal has the ability where you can't lower his stats. Mm -hmm. What does it say after that? Does it keep going? No. That's it. Oh, they cut away from yeah, it? Yeah, they cut away from it. So I'm like... What if that... It's what if it deflects it back? No, it doesn't. It just said... But I mean, like, what if they just cut it and didn't show the other part, though? No, they they want to do it. Nintendo oh, want to do yeah. that. <clears throat> Nintendo want to do that. And my thing is, it's supposed to be a new ability, but if it's it's, it's just the same thing as Swipe Screen. Yeah. You know? That's kind of weird. And then it's... it's uh, it has a move. It has a, a new move called Sunsteel Strike, which is a fire type. Like, uh, it's fire. Mm -hmm. It's fire and light. Like a magnifying glass. So the way I like to think about it is that, you know how you have that move Freeze Dry that um affects obviously it's a water it's an ice type move that affects water, water type. types well i think a better one would be i think more like flying press how it's flying and fighting yeah. fighting it's so both types i like to think this is a steel and fire move. yeah uh the move looks cool it's it's okay shit he about to wreck an ice type <clears throat> boy let, it, let him hit an ice type with that then we get lunala yeah. Which, uh, again, uh, this goes back to Luna means moon on Spanish. Uh, Luna, um, L-U-N-A, mean moon on Spanish. Luna, mm -hmm. right, mm -hmm. moon. And Allah, A-L-A, means Allah. I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> Allah means wing, like a bird's wings. Like okay. Wings. So, like... Um, it's like night wing. Yeah, kind of like that. So, it means Luna, again, means sun, or sun. Luna means... Uh, Moon and Allah means wings, mm -hmm. like wing. So Lunala, of course, is mm -hmm. flying moon, I guess, or something like that. It looks cool. I don't like his typing either, though. And his typing is psychic and ghost, making him four times mm -hmm. weak to dark types. Yeah, so that but it's, that it's a bad. You think that it would be a dark type, which I'm, I'm happy <clears throat> it's not a dark type, yeah. but the fact that it is a bat, I can see if it was some kind of bird. See, like I wanted, thing, I want, I'd rather it be a dark and ghost. Rather than you know, you know what they could have made it? What? Dark and fairy. Yeah. 
could have made a dark and fairy type. Yeah. I don't know why they made it psychic and ghost. Like they have the weirdest matchups for these legendaries. That they, it's they just really like, do. yeah, it's, it's unbelievable. It's crazy. And um, his design's cool. I'm still gonna go with Pokemon Sun. I feel like that's where my money is. Mm -hmm. uh, I has an ability called Shadow Shield. I'm assuming. You know what's weird about that though? Defensive. No. All, all their Shadow, abilities. Shadow Shield. They didn't really tell us what that move does. Mm -hmm. Like that ability. Mm -hmm. I thought that was kind of weird. What if it protects it from uh, dark type moves? I don't know, or reduce damage. Reduce damage, maybe. <clears throat> and then he has an attack. His attack actually looks a lot cooler. Uh, he basically summons, or she, or it basically summons like a bunch of beams, and it has kind of like a galactic thing, uh, moonjist, moonjist beam. Uh, I don't know what type of move it is. <laughs> well, it just wrecked a Gengar. It's a super effective. So it has so to be a poison. Well, it might be a psychic. A uh, psychic, sorry. That's what yeah, I probably a psychic type move. And then we get the welcome to the Alola. Alola region. Now I like this region. What the, I like the, the most islands. about is is that they. I read that it was four islands and an artificial island, I believe. Okay. And or or one of them might be artificial. One, something artificial with the islands. And uh, having so many islands is cool because I feel like when you go from island to island to island, you're gonna have different Pokemon, obviously. Yeah. And I feel like the culture might be different. Like in the trailer, they show us like a very like um tropical. You know, like beach kind of setting part, but then they might have another island that might be the city part that they show in the trailer, and like it's kind of cool to me because um, they can make each island very, very different. So I'm very excited to see that. Plus all that open water space, I know there's going to be a lot of good surfing in there. Uh, the two. Um, so I, I got a bone to pick here. <laughs> I always pick the female. I always feel like the female was the coolest character. Started with Hilda. Mm -hmm. I know it actually started with uh, with Crystal, you know, or whatever her name was, Lila or Lyra, Lyra, you know, Rosa, Hilda. Uh, I know I'm missing somebody. Dawn, May. May. I always pick the females, <clears throat> except in this region, the guy looks way cooler. The girl. Oh, the guy looks like a G. Yeah, he looks like he get mad pussy. Bro. The girl looks like she got a chicken on her head. Yeah, she looks like she wears a weird hat, mm -hmm. but he looks like he get mad pussy, bro. Now, one thing I feel about this is that I am so happy that they did the customization. Yep. Um, that is one thing that uh, I, I made a video about it, multiple videos about how I want the customization to come back, and I want you to be able to, you know, I'm black. I want to play as a black character, you know, That's in the game. Um, African Americans. So. Yeah, yes, sir. So. Uh, what you thought I was gonna say? <coughs> Mew. But. Yeah, I'm gonna stop before this video gets really bad. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm very happy that they brought back customization, um, both for the characters and the fact that you can change um, actually your skin color. I feel like that's very more personal, makes for a more enjoyable experience in uh, a Pokemon game. Now, let's talk about Professor Kokoi. My boy get mad pussy. Yeah, he does. He does look like he get mad pussy too. Boy. He looks like it, like he's the leader of fraternity. Boy, frap house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, he looks like he's the youngest one so far. He might be. Yeah. Which is pretty cool, because we've seen Gary in the show. Oh, let's talk about that. Those, the, um, how they have the little, looks like they're using a computer. Yeah, they're using some type of, like, uh, it looks like a MacBook Pro. Like, the, the screen mm -hmm. kind of looks the, like a MacBook. That's cool, because it <clears> shows <throat> that the technology is going to be on fleek in this region. I'm very excited to see what they do. Then, uh, we have Kukui's Mystery Assistant. Uh, mm, she, she looks, looks so like, fucking pissed. Yeah, she looks like she's gonna be real relevant she to the story. Look, yeah, she also looks like she's a psychic type trainer, but I could be wrong. Mm, you think they're going with the double rival thing? I hope so. See, we haven't had a good rival since like. Personally, I don't think Brendan or May were that good of a rival. Uh, Wally was a joke. Um, Barry was cool because Barry was your friend. Yeah, I heard they're both speedsters too. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Barry was your friend. Um, he was pretty cool. I think he's my favorite one so far, but even then, he wasn't that much of a rival. He was very impulsive, uh, so I, I do want a rival, like a actual legit rival. I think the last good one was Gold. Yeah. You know, uh, but she's not. She's not the rival, because this is the rival. His name How. How. Your new friend in Aloha. Uh, I think he's gonna end up being your rival. Obviously, um, you're both gonna get your Pokemon at the same time. I don't know. He looked too happy to be a rival. I need somebody that's pissed off. Yeah, like I need somebody that's walking around looking like an Angry Birds. I'm kind of hoping that last girl was the rival, honestly. Yeah. Uh, 
That's cool though. They give you a, a friend. They give you a friend. Now this part threw me the fuck off. Yeah, I, I was confused. This blew my mind. There is a Rotom in your Pokedex now. So it's like Yokai. Yokai mm -hmm. Watch. Mm -hmm. It's like Pokemon meets Yokai Watch. And we have a Rotom that can take over a Pokedex. Here, here's the weird part though. No trainer ever said, hey Rotom, you should get in this Pokedex. They well, my thing is though, what are they going to make the benefits of that? Yeah. And, and then does that mean that you automatically get a Rotom? I bet it's, I bet this shit's gonna work like Navi, too. I bet it's just gonna tell you about the Pokemon oh, yeah. when you go near it. See, and um, like, cause what if you go to area and it just tells you? Well, you know, you know what? I, you know what's the feature I always wanted? I wanted a feature that when you actually battle the Pokemon, you can use your Pokedex and it tells you the type. Oh, that it would be nice. You. I don't know why that's not a feature. I don't know why you have to capture them for it to tell you. Mm -hmm. I wish that when you battle them, you know how it says fight, bag, run, Pokemon. Mm -hmm. You go to bag. And then you take out your Pokedex and you scan the Pokemon and it tells you like... And that's a whole move. Yeah, and that's it. And then you record it. I think I like that way more. Mm -hmm. You know, we should make a video about features that this game should have and talk about that. But Yeah, that's definitely one I of them. I think this is weird because um, so does that mean you have an extra Pokemon on here, yeah, Rotom? Yeah, that's what confuses me. Can you actually use him? How is this going to work? What new features <clears throat> is he going to have? He talks. Yeah. Um. And then in here they call it... Let me back, back up a little bit. It's the next generation of Pokedexes, but it's only completed once Rotom has gone into this body, especially Pokedex. So they created a body for Rotom. Yeah, and that it's weird though because uh, so does that mean that there's other technologies they can go into into the future? You know, now, well they seem to be. Topic. Yeah, they're so advanced here that it's gonna be very interesting to see what direction they go. Um, how do you feel about it the, the overall with the trailer and it looks very exciting But at the same time it looks very kid friendly I know Pokemon games are supposed to be kid friendly But like I said, I was hoping that they boost up the difficulty of the game that they make the game a little more challenging I know you can't really tell that from the trailer But I mean like just seeing your rival goofing around, you know, what I mean nobody looks like they're really serious and um, I'm very optimistic about it. Um, it looks amazing but that's actually my biggest concern is am I going to get to this cool game with these cool features and beat it in a day? That's actually the biggest thing that I'm concerned about uh, for this game. Legendaries are a little wonky, but I never play I never used to legendaries. So I don't, I'm not really like, I don't mind that much their typing because it's not like I build teams around the legendary Pokemon. Yeah, never do. But they are very wonky. Um, the thing that has me the most excited is the four different islands because like I said, there's a lot that they can do with that. A lot of space in between. I can see them having a lot of like underwater caves. Maybe we'll get diving back, like actual, like free diving like they did in, in um, Sapphire and Ruby. Yeah. You know, so <clears throat> that's one thing that I hope that they bring back. Maybe they'll keep the flying aspect too, letting you fly from island to island and they'll have different things. So um, the map's there. There's a lot that they can do with it. And honestly, I'm just I'm just waiting to see what other features they got. It, they got my attention right now. So I guess that's a good thing. Okay. I like it so far. Uh, if things go... I'll, you know, I'm sure we're gonna get another trailer. Yeah, they <clears> have to. Uh, this trailer actually did not show the legend the starters. Yeah, they showed the legendaries. It's kind of weird. Yeah. So I'm I'm looking forward for the next trailer that shows like evolutions and stuff like that. But for the most part, it was a good trailer. I'm high. It got me hyped. Okay. Well, guys, uh, thank you for watching, and uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll probably have more Pokemon videos coming coming to you guys uh, the more information we get the more that comes out and uh yeah i'll catch you guys later bye bye